G'day all. Uh, in this video today what we'll be discussing is uh, a different uh, storage solutions that are available um, for different parts of our uniform. Um, you'll notice uh, once you're actually in the services you'll, you'll um, be required to um, upkeep your uniform and um, keep it in a, a very high standard. And um, to help you with that, well, I'll just offer you some, um, some hints and tips on, on how to store them. Um, so they're stored properly and they don't decay while they're in storage and also so you can find stuff so it's an organization thing as well so we'll step through the different things um, so first of all what we'll, we'll cover is the storage of belts so we've got Sam Brown and also the um, parade belt obviously our parade boots um, our accoutrements and also um, our slouch hats as well so I'll step through them uh, individually Right, over the first one is the obviously the slouch hat. Um, best way of storing that I found is actually in the um, slouch hat press and carriers that I actually make. So shameless promotion there, but it allows um, constant pressure on the hat rim for both the grade one and two. Um, the other way of um, storing them is actually on a flat surface, okay, and keeping some uh, weight on the brim, okay. And then all you need to do then is. When you, uh, you need them, just use your clothes brush, give it a quick going over, and you're good to go. So storage options, flat surface, heavy weights, or actually a, a purpose-built and designed and proven um, slatch hat press and carrier. Right, so for our accoutrements, uh, this is the small items that we can fit uh, securely into a, uh, a parts box and these are really good um, because we can um, use the slots here, the removable slots there to make sure that we um, allocate space to the, um, the items that we need in there. So if we're moving from left to right, just an idea of what we've got in there. Um, we've got some sludge hat badges and also um, some spares there for our mess kit. Nice and safe up there. Um, for our service dress, um, we've got a little heaps of the uh, the buttons and all placed in there that go onto the uniform, all in the one spot, so we know where they all are. So all those buttons fit onto the, uh, the service dress. Over on this side, we've got our qualification badges, uh, ARN badges. And the stored uh, with the um, the matching uh, backing plates as well. Um, so see my um, other videos for that as well. Um, in there as well, we've got um, little bits and pieces like um, these items here. Uh, so little flathead screwdrivers and and the like uh, are always good to keep on hand as well. Um, I use that to get in um, around the slouch hat and uh, just get rid of some. Uh, the build up of um, green gunk that occurs. Uh, so just have them on hand as well. Uh, once again, um, another place for some spare badges. We've got some color patches and shoulder uh, flashes in, uh, correction shoulder patches in there as well. Um, all ready to go. Um, lanyards, got some spare lanyards in there as well. Um, once again, shoulder flashes for your mess kit. Uh, we've got some Spare uh, D's as well. You never know when you're going to use a spare one. Um, and notice, uh, and we'll cover that more in more detail when we get up to the belt. But these haven't got any um, form of polish or anything on it, or brasso. Uh, don't store uh, long term with brasso on it because that just creates problems. It, be it becomes um, solidified and it's near impossible to get off. Uh, once again, some spares, spares here, and a racer. Uh, that's really good for uh, getting any marks out of your paint and leather um, boots. If you've got like small dings, uh, little small scratches on it, you should use the eraser to get that off. Handy tip for you. Um, storage of, we've got the, the old D's. I just kept in there for, I don't know, nostalgia I suppose. Um, storage of our web belts. Um, see how we've stored it as well? We've stored it in there with the buckle so it's protected by the web. Okay. Um, 
if you store it otherwise, if you store that with the outside, that can be um, scratched on anything that you keep in there as well. So store it like so, and it's never going to be scratched. Uh, moving along, um, we've got our cloth, and we've got um, spots in here for our auto sole. Uh, that's what we use to uh, polish our brass with. Uh, you can use brass, of course. Um, we've got some spare um, um, belt. Um, male and female buckles in there. Um, we've got a, a black pen there, a black felt pen. Okay, that's always good to touch up your uh, your shoes. Um, see my videos for that. Uh, and of course, there's always a, for some reason there's always a thread kicking around in your kit as well. Okay, so there it is there. All right, so the other addition is. Um, so we've got some spare like buttons uh, and also uh, the spare clips, always keep some uh, spare clips, they always seem to be um, go missing in action when you uh, need them the most, so we've got a heap of spares there. Um, other additions as well, you can keep a sewing kit in there as well for all the, for those uh, last minute emergencies. Oh, and just quickly, one other item that I forgot to mention in the main bit is your uh, your ruler, a transparent ruler. Uh, very handy for helping you getting those exact measurements uh, when you're placing your accoutrements onto your uniforms. All right, so that's about it for the uh, the contents in there. Obviously, you can suit it as you need. I always suggest make sure you've got some spares on there as well. And as you step through, you'll find out um, other uh, items that you need or use or tend to lose. Uh, um, and then keep it restocked. Uh, so these can be picked up. I picked up at, at Bunnings. So any hardware store, uh, hardware stores, or um, you know, uh, uh, even if you're overseas, like our um, brothers in the US, um, you know, your Home Home Depot or your your WalMarts, very handy, uh, always useful, uh, and can travel well. Right. Next up is the storage of our uh, parade belt. Um, you can see there I've got um, a cloth um, fastened with a uh, rubber band. Um, because they're brass, uh, they are very they're malleable and they're very susceptible to scratching. All right, so um, I've always leave the I always leave the brass on the belt because it helps maintain the shape of the belt itself. Okay. Um, once again, for long-term storage, don't leave Brasso on there or, or auto sale because it does dry and becomes very difficult to get off. Um, so just regular maintenance to keep them up, up to speed. This is a quick polish every now and again um, so it doesn't turn into just a, a really dull bit of brass. Um, and then storage of those items, I keep these um, in an, and I'll actually show you what, what I do with the longer items because they don't fit real well into a box. Um, like we just uh, displayed before for our accoutrements, um, I've, I put these in an, a, an actual uh, storage drawer. Okay, but I'll get on to that. So that's our parade belt. Alrighty, so on to uh, storage of our Sam Brown belts. Uh, two different ways of storing it, and both have their uh, their pros and cons, uh, and both have um, strong advocates for either case. So first one is stored in a uh, rolled up um, configuration inside a container. Um, so what we've done here, we've just placed a, an old towel on the inside and rolled up the Sam Brown and also the shoulder straps. And I've got two shoulder straps in there. And the reason I've got two shoulder straps is one is longer and one is shorter because you use the shorter one when you're wearing a service dress because right, you wear it a little bit higher so that's a little tip there um, so rolled up and placed into the container now the reason why um, that's that that's done is, is one the um, when you wear the the Sam Brown it's curved around the waist and across the shoulder so it's naturally going to be worn in a rounded uh, position and that's why we store it in a rounded position so the wax polish when it dries um, is, is always going to be dried into that um, that solution in, in into that position, um, and that prevents. And the theory behind that is it prevents uh, the cracking when you place it on. Uh, the wax polish 
uh, it does tend to crack um, and causes uh, some white when, when I say cracking it, it um, produces like a white sort of um, film on it so that's how you know that it's uh, the cracking has occurred the other method of storing it is um, to keep them here like we've done with this example of, is keeping them um, stored straight okay um, so the, the uh, theory behind that is is um, it prevents the actual uh, wax polish from cracking unnecessarily um, when it's when it's just hanging there in storage okay uh, what tend what tends to happen is uh, when you do put it on and you do wear it that's when the cracking occurs when you actually start to wear it and, and uh, move around in it sit down and all that sort of stuff um, so there's the two theories behind it. I prefer to keep them rolled up. Uh, the people uh, obviously swear by keeping them rolled up there. Um, so there you go. So the um, theory theories there, um, w whichever one you prefer. Um, having said that, when you do need to travel with them, you do need to roll them up anyway. Um, in the container that we've had, we've got them in here. Once we've uh, we've folded the towel and we've placed it onto the. Um, the lid on top of the box it's not going to move it doesn't rub around and prevents uh, any any rubbing occurring when it's in in uh, travel so that's the uh, the options there for traveling and storing your sand brown right now, so storage solution for your boots parade boots uh, boxed boots whatever you've got um, obviously it comes in a um, shoe box um, it's pretty good for storing it in right? Um, you can store it um, as well. Okay, don't forget that I have um, uh, an actual package made up for your black shoe clean kit. Uh, fits well in your shoe box. So inside, and this is our uh, Aaron Williams parade boots. Store it in there, and we've got um, paper separating the um, the boots themselves once they're in there, so they don't rub against each other. And storage as well. You can store. Um, all of your, your polish in the shoe box or um, you can sh store it inside the actual shoe itself okay so that, that'll just help you out and you can store it in both of them place it back in the box place it back into storage and whenever you need to uh, polish your boots and you always know that your shoe polish is where they should be with your boots okay you're not hunting around and trying to find them this one of those skills uh, organization wise always trying to leave it in the same spot all the time um, items go with items right. so there you go storage solutions for your pre boot right I want to the last um, last storage solution there for all of our, um, our, our equipment and uniforms um, so I've got a, a nice set of um, bargain priced um, plastic drawers in my system here um, that's where I keep everything else that doesn't fit into those other containers um, so I've got like for example a sewing kit um, I've also got uh, printouts of the different orders of dress and um, the distances that they need to go on your uniform um, we can place all of our other items in there like our clothes brush um, this is where we also store our poly belt uh, correction our parade belt in there and same with the top tier um, I've got some uh, some more um, sewing kit items in there, um, spare puggeries, uh, what else? A uh, whole heap of um, whole heap of spare items. Um, so we are rank and insignia, chevrons, everything else that we um, send pick up along the way. Oh, no. So there we go, and that keeps it out of the way. And then what we do there is we put it all together. So we have, you know, all our sets of drawers, our accoutrement box, our shoe box, our belts, all stored in the same area as our uniforms. And I can give you a, a demonstration of that one as well. Right, so here we are. We're going to tie it all in now. So um, we've got our actual dedicated uh, room or corner of the house where we're going to store all of our uniforms. Uh, you'll find that the closet space is never enough to store everything that you need in the one spot. Uh, the external clothes hangers the, that we've got here is, is perfect for the task and um, you'll always uh, find a use for it. So uniforms hung up, we've got our hats there, 
uh, just panning down down towards the bottom there we've got another bottom tier uh, that's where we put our belts our shoes our boots accoutrements box um, and also the other items that don't fit in into those items in the storage containers on the side there so it all, all ties in uh, nice and neatly um, everything is um, where you need it in the one spot just another way of organizing yourself um, as with all my videos if you've got uh, other comments and other uh, ideas that you've picked up along the way feel free to to um, share them as well it's always good for the other viewers and, and for myself as well I don't know everything and uh, it's good to know what other people are doing storage wise so uh, once again uh, thanks for viewing thanks very much for your time I hope this was helpful